in the Democratic Republic of Congo and the need to take precautionary measures. And the Senate recalls with great distress that an infected immigrant, Patrick Sawyer, who arrived in Nigeria on the 23rd July, was the index case of the Ebola virus disease in Nigeria, with varying symptoms ranging from the fever to diarrhea. There were a total of 869 contacts, and 20 laboratory confirmed cases were recorded. Uh, the Senate is reminded that the tide was stemmed by quick response of the Nigerian government via um, declaration of a national emergency, collaboration of the federal and state ministries of health, use of incident management approach, identification and follow-up contacts. Senate is saddened that in spite of quick measures taken, the epidemic claimed eight lives, including those of medical personnel who put their lives at risk to contain the disease. Senate is disturbed that recent reports of media outlets and the World Health Organization show that the disease is back in neighboring De uh, Democratic Republic of Congo with 19 dead and 39 infected casualties recorded so far. Senate for is further reminded that the DRC is 435 kilometers by air from Abuja, is easily accessible via a flight from Lagos that takes less than three hours. Senate notes also the report of the World Health Organization stating that Nigeria and other African countries are at modest risk of spread. Senate is worried that unless we prepare our hospitals properly equipped with the Ebola vaccine where necessary, this is an epidemic we might be unable to take on and will only cause untold hardship. Senate is further worried that if we do nothing given our population, we may well be on our way to creating a global situation. Senate accordingly resolves to, one, urge the Minister of Interior to take necessary steps to check immigration, two, urge the Minister of Health to ensure alertness to combat whatever cases may arise and get the Ebola vaccine ready for an emergency. Three, urge Nigerians who travel to other African countries to ensure utmost level of care to avoid getting infected. Thank you, Mr. President and distinguished colleagues. Thank you for allowing me to move this On the issue of Ebola, Mr. President, this motion is now false with the statement that prevention is better than cure. Prevention is better than cure. Ebola virus had uh, dealt very terrible blow on this country some time ago, where we had to lose a medical doctor and some other medical personnel when they dealt with the immigrants from Liberia. With the outbreak of Ebola in the Democratic uh, Republic of Congo, We've seen how lives are being lost in that country. And DRC being a country in Africa with relationship with Nigeria in various aspects. It is important that we take this motion very seriously to ensure that Nigeria is not taken on our ways again. Any contact with anybody from the Democratic Republic of Congo by any Nigerian, either by somebody visiting Nigeria from that place. Um, if we are unlucky and somebody who is um, afflicted with the Ebola virus, it will open another floodgate of deaths in this country, which we cannot afford. So I believe that um, Senator Tinubu had done very well by raising this alarm 
and putting our various agencies on notice for us to prepare, including immigration officials, people who work at the border, whether at the airport or land borders, should be on the lookout for people traveling to Nigeria, particularly from any East African country. From any East African country, not only Democratic Republic of Congo, because that's a region now. Anybody coming to this country should be thoroughly checked by our team to ensure that they are free from uh, Ebola virus. So this is the best way to deal with this matter in line with the maxim that prevention is better than cure. So I wholeheartedly support this motion brought to this chamber by the thing Senator Remi Tinubu for us to be at our last and for us not to be taken on our ways. So I so support, Mr. Distinguished colleagues. It's a call for people to be alert. It's a call for everybody to be alert. Ebola, we all know how dreaded the disease of Ebola is all about. And I want to sincerely thank Senator <clears throat> Tinimbu for drawing attention of the Senate and by extension the entire country to what is happening in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Mr. President, because our borders are very porous and it's not easy to control order. It's not easy to control. Senton Kui. Order. Mr. President, my highly respected colleagues, I think it's important for us to pay attention to this particular motion brought by Senator Tinubu. While you are here, you have your constituents, your brothers and sisters, your families elsewhere. And Ebola is very, very dangerous a disease. We, we had it a few years ago, about 2013, 2014. We had it. And it was very, very dangerous. The entire nation was in trouble because it was spreading like wildfire from one state to another and killing people just like that. So when it was reported that this is happening in the Democratic Republic of Congo again, believe you me, everybody, including my humble self, I was visibly worried. And what is important, Mr. President, my highly respected colleagues, alertness. Nigerians must be very, very alert. Prevention, they say, is far better than cure. Uh, health authorities in this country, the Honorable Minister of uh, Health, and the entire health family, those who are managing the health of this country, must be alert to protect all Nigerians. Because this disease does not know who is who. And you know, you remember how it came into this country. And so I am surprised that it is still a problem to the Democratic Republic of Congo. And all everything humanly possible must be done for it not to spread to this country. Order. And uh, for the entire world, I think there is a vaccine for it. And it must be tested very quickly in that part of the world. The Re Democratic Republic of Congo is a country in Nigeria and in Africa. Okay, and there are human beings that are dying. So the World Health Organization must test that particular vaccine and see whether it will work. And if it works, then it must be uh, uh, applied to those who are afflicted with it in the Democratic Republic of Congo so that this particular very dreadful disease will not spread beyond the Congo. It will not spread beyond the areas that are afflicted, even inside Congo. Mr. President, this is a wake-up call. It's a call for everybody to be alert. Something has to be done for this thing never to spread to this country again. Never again must we see Ebola. Ebola, in my language, means 
come and see me. Boila. It's a very, it's a very, it's a very dangerous. It's a very dangerous. Come and see me. Come. Boila, come. Uh, so that is what it means. And therefore, we don't want you to come, Ebola. Stay where you are. Thank you very much. God bless you. The English guy, let's go to the when he comes there, by the time you know it's too late. So the time now to begin to screen travelers into Nigeria, especially those from East Africa, is now. The kind of measures we took when Ebola first came to Nigeria a few years ago, I believe we should put in place immediately at our airports and points of entry to screen those who are coming in from East Africa. Thank you. And should there be the introduction of this viral problem into our country, we won't even have the earth workers to attend to it. So I think because of the possibility of such a crisis, we must urge an immediate intervention in this long-lasting industrial action so that we will have the workers, God forbid, to attend to whatever health problem may arise in our republic. That's my first additional prayer. I have another one. Okay. That we should intervene. We, that the Senate should ask for a quick resolution, resolution to the ongoing crisis by health workers in many of Nigerian public hospitals. Aye. Those against nay. The ayes have it. Prayer two. Urge the Minister of Health to ensure alertness to combat diseases, whatever cases may arise, and get the Ebola vaccine ready for an emergency. Those in favor of prayer two say aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. Prayer three. Urge Nigerians who travel to other African countries to ensure utmost level of care to avoid getting infected. Those in favor of prayer three say aye. Those against say nay, the eyes have it.